So Tommy, we finally hit the first game of the season. How's it, how's it all going? Are we all prepared? Yeah, I think we're in a really good place. Um, of the 21 guys we've got available to pick, 90 of them are fit and ready to go. Um, obviously everybody's aware about Christian, but Harry Gando also, is, he's not far away, but um, I've got to say thanks to, to Liam and his department, to Brad and his and also my coaching staff. I think they've, they've prepared the lads excellently well. We've, we've, we've seen a steady improvement in their base fitness from day one, um, in their match fitness from their Bad Shot League game right through to the Sutton game. We've, the, the minutes have been managed really, really well by the lads. Um, and I think they've been living correctly because you don't stay fit and well unless you're, you're doing the right things away from the club as well, as well as doing the right things when they're here in front of us. So yeah, I'm delighted with where we are. Um, obviously we've just got to manage expectations. I know what I expect. Um, I know what everybody wants outside of the, the football club, but you know, as part of the football club, whether you're a supporter, a worker, you know, present and non-present. So um, we, we understand it's going to be a long haul and I'm going to need all of the players that we have and we might need a couple more uh, as, the, as the season goes on. But right now I'm, re I'm in a really good place in my mind and I think that the vast majority, if not all of the players, are also in a good, good place with their own. Just to briefly speak about Christian there, obviously mm. we've put out the, the release on the website and everything now about yeah. his update, but we haven't had a chance to speak about it. Obviously he's yeah. had his operation now, hasn't he? And he's, he's on the road to recovery pretty much. It's going to be long, yeah. but it, it has started now, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say, I'm going to use these words. I'm devastated for him um, and also for me and us as a football club because I chose to invest heavily in, in Christian and he took a freakish injury. Nobody knew, nobody to blame. But I've got to say, and I, and I mean this sincerely, the football club, has done above and beyond what a lot of football clubs I've worked at before have done. Within nine days, the lad was scanned, seen, judged and operated on, which has given him the best opportunity possible to get back as quickly as he can. Like I said, I've worked at football clubs where we'd still be waiting for a scan because the club wouldn't be willing to pay for the scan. So from that point of view, we're at a proper football club where the right things are done by the vast majority of the right people. We all pull in the same direction. There's no diversity on the football side. Oh, sorry, there's nobody being diverse from the, the common common goal. Um, and that's something that really, really has pleased me. The injury hasn't, like I said, I'm as good at this Christian probably, but you know, Hadji's come in and I'm sure he'll be a more than adequate um, replacement in, in the short term, certainly, but in the long term also. So uh, we just got to move on. Of course, like Hadji coming in just emphasises what brilliant squad depth we now do have. We've seen people like Maxi Mullins, Josh Stokes and Laurent, uh, mm. three of the younger lads in the squad that have really shined in pre-season. So, you know, we spoke before about how you might have a bit of a headache for team selection. So how, how's that going? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've had a, a bit of a team meeting this morning, you know, pre-game, if you like. And I've said, out of 19 people, there's only 16 can be put on the match day squad. That means three will be left out of the the match day squad, but then only three of them, five on the bench can go on a pitch. So there's going to be six or seven lads who probably don't like me very much tomorrow, as much as they're on board with me and they're going to have to deal with disappointment as much as it's a small disappointment. As far as I'm concerned, every single person with a badge on their chest tomorrow will have a part to play, whether they start the game or finish the game or whether they get on or not. You know, they're part of a group of people who have all got one common goal. We want to win that match. Uh, and everybody behind us in the stand, in the director's box, in the corporates, everybody wants, well, the vast majority, I hope, of the people that are in the ground tomorrow will want all the short time to win, and we're no different. So that's going to be the focus, that's going to be our mantra, if you like, and um, we've got one game in front of us, and we're going to try and win it. And to well add to that headache as well, Ollie Scott's now been brought in, and that that gives a bit of competition for Ollie Harfield, doesn't it? And yeah. and well, I guess he's a versatile guy, isn't he? So it's other people too. Yeah, absolutely. At the end of the day, it was made aware to me that Ollie had become available, and I acted as I would because I thought he was a good player when I had him pre previously, um, and he's joined the group, so he's available to be selected tomorrow, um, along with everybody else. As far as I'm concerned, his history and where he's come from is of none of my business. The fact that he became available because he mutually agreed to, to, to part ways for whatever reasons, not mine, nothing to do with me, um, that was done. So when, you know, I look back and I keep, I keep reading things or people keep telling me they're reading things about this, that and the other and what's happened and what didn't happen. All I can say is about eight or nine players left the, the football club I used to work at and have gone on to other things. Nobody's moaning about them making wrong choices. Footballers make their decisions. The people who want to sign them don't make the decisions, the players do. That, they're in charge of their own destiny. And that, and I, I don't want to name anybody else other than the people that I'm involved with, but 
there are a lot, a lot of players who've moved on and nobody moans about how and why they moved on. They gave good service when they were there, as did I, and we've moved on and that's what, that's what we have to do. Well, a lot of, um, going back to you know Saturday's game, obviously a lot of the players that have signed have spoken about how they can't wait to see the fans in action at the ebb. And Hadji as well, he, he said there was no reason for him to not to come back because of the great support we saw. So how excited are you to, to see that ebb rocking again, yeah. the ebb they have stayed in rocking again? Well, I'm delighted. I mean, it, it's great. It's good to have a home game to start with, I think. I think we can put our own stamp out there or put a flag in the middle of the pitch, if you like, and show what we're all about. But there are, listen, Oxford City are coming here on the back of a really successful season. And nobody's going to walk over anybody. It'll be a tough game. Um, I think both teams tried to play football. And ultimately, the answer to your question is, I can't wait. Because I think there was an upturn in feeling and thinking about the way they, the group of players that we had at the end of last season approached the last six games. And that was really a compliment to, to them. And the way the fans got behind the players in the situation we were was excellent. Now we're on the starting line exactly the same as everybody else. I think there's an optimism that has never been felt for a little while, at least around, around all the shots. So yeah, like I said, we've got to manage the expectations. What we can't do, we can't win the league on Saturday and we can't be relegated. But what I don't want to be, I don't want to be on the same amount of points as we're on now. That, that's the aim. Um, but I'm, I can't wait to, to hear that place rocking um, for the right reasons. And like I said, we're all pulling in the same direction on the football and operation. And my, my support staff and the people above me, I'd like to think that whatever you are, whether you're a young supporter, part of the foundation, part of the sports club, part of the East Bank, I don't care. You're, East, you're an older shot town fan and therefore we should all be pulled in the same direction.